Man Talk. And we're live from the Illinois State Fair. Uh, a little overcast today, but it has been an absolutely gorgeous uh, couple of days here for uh, the first full weekend of the Illinois State Fair. And to talk a little bit about how busy they've been over at the Illinois Farm Bureau tent uh, is uh, the uh, manager of the Food Systems Development uh, section of the Illinois Farm Bureau. She's also the executive director of the Illinois Specialty Growers Association, uh, and that is uh, Regala Scavuzzo. Uh, Regala, thanks for taking time with us here. How are you doing? Doing great. How are you this morning? Good. Let me make sure that your mic is working. Uh, go ahead and. Is there, uh, how are we doing this morning? I, th I, th I think we're good. Okay, I, th that's I think we. Good to know. I think we might be good. <laughs> so, uh, uh, as we broadcast live, of course, we got to work out all of these uh, little uh, glitches. But uh, glad to have you. Uh, you were just telling me off air about how busy you guys were. Uh, tell us what uh, what you got going on over the uh, Farm Bureau tent. So we are located in the Illinois Department of Agriculture tent, and it's the Illinois Specialty Growers Farm Stand. And we sell those famous apple cider slushies, as well as cooked sweet corn and watermelon, and it has been a buku year. Um, we actually had to, I had to go get more cider in a parking lot of a shopping mall from a farmer <laughs> at 10 o'clock on Saturday night, because what would have carried us normally through Tuesday, we were out of by Saturday. Wow. wow. Uh, so that just goes to show just how busy it was over the weekend. And looking forward to hearing more uh, from uh, Rebecca Clark, the uh, the State Fair Director. She's going to join us here in about uh, 15 minutes or so uh, to give us that update. But, uh, uh, Regella, uh, tell us uh, you know what you do with the Illinois Farm Bureau other than go and talk to farmers uh, trying to get some uh, extra cider uh, and some kind of uh, deal that uh, – you know, it was unexpected just because of how busy it was. Uh, yeah, so I am the Associate Director of Food Systems Development, which sounds way cooler, uh, but I think it's a lot of fun. I am in charge of everything related to food and specialty crops for the Illinois Farm Bureau in terms of advocacy, program development, and market opportunities. So this means building infrastructure for programs like our Farm to Food Bank program. It means promoting the industry, working on regulation, and doing anything related to food systems development. And these are obviously some very important things for farmers uh, and, and making sure that they have the resources that are necessary. What are some of the things you've been hearing from farmers, especially with uh, you know inflation that's going on, uh, consumers maybe changing their habits a bit? So what are you hearing from uh, some of those specialty growers? So labor remains to be an issue as we uh, specialty crops is a high labor industry. So we continue to look for more and more labor opportunities, but it's even carrying over to our agro-tourism businesses. So how do they get the labor to even sell tickets on the farm fairgrounds, or not on the fairgrounds, on their businesses? Clearly, I'm tired this morning. <laughs> it's still pretty early, I don't blame you. Yeah, after, uh, after a long weekend over the weekend, for sure. Um, and then uh, also, things like reducing their food waste or finding new market opportunities so that they can grow more production. If they're getting product rejected at the grocery store because it's not pretty enough, what do they do with it? How does it go into another locations? And then moreover, how do we make that hit those that need it the most? So that's things like the Farm to Food Bank program that we're working on. And that's uh, such a crucial program. Uh, you got to think about, of course, there's a lot of families that are seeing more um, reliance on food banks, uh, more reliance on uh, assistance. And uh, it's incredible to see the uh, the Illinois Farm Bureau and all of the farmers across the, across the state uh, step up and, and work to help fill that need. Talk a bit about that, about how, um, you know, the, the increased need is, is apparent and uh, what farmers are doing to step up? So it's it's an ever-growing issue we know as inflation increases and food costs increase that people still need food but can't always afford it. We also have these products, we have seconds, but it's not always easy to get it to the end user. Um, the one thing people don't know is all the steps it takes to get your food from the farm to the fork um, on someone's plate. And that is things like packaging and logistics. And we have a really big state. So if all of my product is in Southern Illinois and I need it to get to Chicago, we're talking 500 mile radius to transport it and the costs that are related to that. So if a farm's already losing that product because it was rejected and didn't have a market, how do we make sure that they aren't losing money but can get it to those access points? And how do we address that logistic issue? Or how does the food bank have the capacity to take it? That pantry 
tree, which is below the food bank, but more often the direct consumer site doesn't always have the ability to store fresh produce. So these are some of the considerations that are being made uh, whenever you talk about uh, getting assistance to where it's needed for those who need food assistance and how the Illinois Farm Bureau is stepping up uh, and helping provide that, uh, that very much uh, important need. Uh, for those who are uh, finding themselves facing higher costs across the board. Uh, farmers as well finding higher costs. Uh, and I don't know how, how much you hear about, uh, for instance, like fertilizer, the availability of fertilizer, the, the cost of fertilizer, uh, and all of the different inputs. You mentioned labor earlier, uh, how that's still very much an issue. But yeah, the, what, are, what are farmers looking for down the road? Are, are, is it just, is it more managing whatever resources they can the best they can? Or is it some people are just kind of throwing up their hands and like, I don't know what to do? I wish you, I could say it was a solid answer one direction or another. It's it's a mix. I mean, we have people making choices to get out of it, sadly. Um, diversification is a key. We're seeing a lot of ways, dude, how do we diversify? And that's not just diversifying what we're growing, but our revenue streams. So this really started during COVID when restaurants shut down. We saw some changes to direct to consumer. Um, but some things you have to look at too with specialty crops, if you're looking at an orchard, you have to look 10 years into the future because that apple tree is not going to be producing apples for 10 years um, or Christmas trees. We've had a lot of like, oh, we can't get this type of Christmas tree because 10 years ago, that was not the popular Christmas tree or the weather impacted us 10 years prior. And now we're short here because of that 10 year impact. So you have to be looking clear into the future, not just a few days. And that's really hard in the climate that we're in right now. And you got to imagine, too, uh, these these farmers, they're integral to making sure that uh, we have the civilized society that we have. Uh, agriculture is a huge industry, uh, vital to our uh, life experience, uh, and it's something that you know every day you can. You got to get out there and thank a farmer. And uh, one of the things that uh, Illinois is known for, outside of Chicago, of course, is uh, our incredible uh, farming community. Which uh, you know, outside of the Collar counties, I mean, you you drive anywhere else, and and you'll see farmers uh, hard at work. Um, Regella, thank you so much for taking time with us this morning. If people are on the fairgrounds, where can they find you and your awesome slushies that uh, you practically sold out of over the weekend? We are in the Department of Ag Tent, which is right next to the Coliseum or in front of the Expo building. And the whole reason we're here is to connect with everyday people and show them what our specialty crop industry is all about. Good stuff. Regella Scavuzzo, she is the Illinois Farm Bureau's Food Systems Development Manager and Executive Director of Illinois Specialty Growers Association. And uh, I'm sure we'll talk again in the near future, all right? Sounds great. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk, live from the Illinois State Fair with some overcast skies. And a little bit later on this half hour, we will talk with the State Fair director, the manager of the State Fair, Rebecca Clark. She'll join us here from the fairgrounds in just uh, about 10 minutes or so. So stay tuned.